gamers, welcome back. <laughs> welcome back to another Skyblock Hypixel. Not really, though. I've been on that grind, the Hypixel grind, as you can see by my Holy Dragon armor with mostly Regio 5. Although I will get to the fact that this armor is a little bit of a scam, actually. You may think it's great, but uh, I'll show you, I'll, I'll talk about it later in this video why it's, it's kind of uh, an L. Unfortunate. Fortunate turn of events. But yeah, basically, in this video, we're gonna be going ahead and we're gonna we're gonna try and find the maximum regen possible. And I'm probably gonna have to split it into two videos because you know it's, it's a little bit of a hard quest. I mean, if you want to never die ever, you can't just get that in one week, right? That's like a quest for like two weeks at least. But yeah, so I don't know if you're not already like. And subscribed, you know, feel free to. You can always unsubscribe if you don't like it. And uh, I hope you enjoy the video. Alright, so the first thing I try to do to up my health regen is I try and grab myself a healing ring and a healing talisman because they boost health, they boost healing by 5 and 10 percent. The problem is that they don't actually boost natural healing, it's only only healing through, you know, potions and item abilities. And I also go ahead and I do the, do the proper thing since the dungeons update came out and I pick up some rejuvenation books. So I'm gonna need it's 32 per rejuvenation 5, which is you know the highest it gets at plus 10% per piece. So you know it's around like 128 books of reju one that I'm gonna need to get. Alright, so another key factor for health regen that I realized is gonna be really important was outside items that give me health regen or regenerate my health. So I go ahead and I, I try and get some Master Farmer, because Master Farmer has the highest base health in the game, scaling with your crit damage. And I'm going to need that to get myself the Campfire God Badge, which gives an extra 10 health regen at max. Alright, so I was farming Sven Tier 3 and Tier 2 because I can't quite do Tier 4 yet. And I decided, you know, I might as well just take the, the long run and kill all the gold wolves too, just so I can see if I get a wolf talisman, because they're kind of expensive. Might help towards my uh, my my money problem of, you know, spending it all on rejuve books. Yeah, so after completing the final tier 3 Sven, I realized that I actually had a bunch of stuff that I didn't claim earlier, like the tier 1 rewards. But... I also realized that I was going to need to go and collect a bunch of dark oak for the armor of growth, and a bunch of enchanted gold, and you know, a bunch of other stuff for the master farmer, which was kind of a long quest. So yeah, basically, I cut dark oak for about like 300 hours. Got four stacks of enchanted dark oak, and uh, then decided the responsible thing to do is just buy the rest. It's really not worth it to buy it all, or to cut it all. Definitely worth it to buy it all. <laughs> don't, don't cut all the dark oak for armor growth, please. Yeah, I did a little bit of bizarre flipping as well, just because the, the gold prices were really, really good. I was making like two coins per gold ingot, and I just bought like, you know, 60,000 of them, so I'd make 60,000 coins per gold ingot. Because, you know, you make that and you turn them into enchanted gold and sell them back for an increased price. It was a pretty profitable thing for a little while, and I mean, it basically bought me all the gold and dark oak that I needed, so... Can't complain. So yeah, after enough bizarre flipping and crafting the armor of growth and all that, I finally actually got all the stuff to make the Mastiff armor. And as you can see, I mean, it's a pretty flashy set, gold and diamond, but it's it's really nice. Crit damage is nice, and it's it's a pretty perfect armor set for the campfire trials. I did some of the campfire trials with my new beefy godlike armor, but then I soon realized that I was going to need to reforge it to fierce. I was going to need to reforge my talismans to hurtful. Probably going to need to get some crit potions, spirit potions, you know, some other stuff like that before I'd really be able to take on the final ones and get to the campfire god badge. It's a lot harder than you might think, because these potions, spirit potions are a bit expensive. 
critical potions you need to have gravel 7 for, which is impossible because the gravel's never there. And you really, really, it's really not that hard to get to fierce, but you know, sometimes the reforge process just takes a little bit longer on some pieces than others, so it could take a pretty good chunk of time, pretty good chunk of money, who knows. Plus, everything to hurt is kind of a pain as well. Reforging cost money, so that means that I had to go grind some zealots in the end. So eventually, I got enough money to reforge it all to fierce. It didn't take as long as I expected it to, and it certainly didn't take as much money either. Which is kind of nice. It's really easy. Finally, after all my hard work and progress, I was able to achieve the Campfire God Badge. Wait a minute. 1500 Enchanted Jungle Wood? Alright, so I took a break to go test out my new fancy schmancy holy dragon armor. You know, the, the infinitely god style 300% regeneration for my natural health. That sounds pretty epic. Except there's a little, okay, tiny problem. It's busted, the armor doesn't work. Not at all. It doesn't work in any sense of the word. Except the fact that it boosts other people's natural regen. My regen? Garbage, trash. It will always be garbage and trash because I only have the base regen. Plus my, you know, few pieces of rejuvenation on it. So yeah, after finding out that the Holy Dragon Armor is a scam and basically, you know, crying for a few hundred years and maybe, maybe thinking about a few things that are a little bit on the darker side, but uh, basically I chopped a bunch of jungle trees. I'm just kidding, I bought it all. I wouldn't chop that much jungle, that's, that's way too much. So I bought it all, and I went and got the campfire badge. Not that it really matters, because the goal has changed at this point. No longer going for the most uh, percent health regen, like 10% of my health. No, we're going for the highest health regen I can get. So yeah, I got distracted, took another little break, because I found out that you can actually find the direction that the stronghold is in on your personal island. So I figured, you know, <laughs> I might go check that out. I might go find the stronghold. So you know, I dumped all my eyes in a chest. Or Ender Pearls, I made some Eyes of Ender. Uh, you know, I figured it's probably going to take a little while, and they're going to blow up, but I'm going to lose them in the void, so I'll just do that. Eat some mushroom soup. But, um, turns out you can't actually go that far, so, uh... Oh yeah, uh, while I was waiting for some of my rejuve books in the auction to finish on the, uh, the bids, I found this. There's, like, fish cults, and they're all wearing blessed bait. So I decided to wear the fish hat. Just splash around. Pretty good for a little while. I eventually did get the blessed bait hat. So you know, fish gang forever. For hours of grinding on the auction house, bidding on hundred coin rejuvenate books and bidding them up all the way to a million coins, I was finally able to like slap a whole set rejuvenate five on my mastiff armor. And I had to buy some grand XP bottles as well because it was a little bit expensive. My health regeneration got up to 341, which is about accurate because the health regenerate formula is 1.5 plus 1% 1 of your maximum health times, you know, 1.4. That's a lot of health regen. Alright, so after getting the full Reju 5 in my Mastiff armor, went ahead and got my uh, my favorite guy, Bean Man the Second, to wear my Holy Dragon armor so I could get the uh, the times three regen buff. And uh, it was a pretty pretty exciting moment because you know when I put on the armor and swapped to my sword while checking my health regen, bam, over a thousand health per second. Well, every two seconds. That's a lot. That's like most people's max health in this game. Pretty cool. But yeah. We're going to have to get the actual best health regeneration percent-wise. We're going to have to get that in a, in a later thing, a second episode, if you will. So i got to do some Slayer quests. i got to do some some waiting. More Reju 5, but yeah, it's got to be the end, so peace.